day. It's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm, and I'm continuing my series of short videos on little tips and tricks on things I think network people should know. This is a pretty cool little scenario. We've got this little router, R4, connected to this network, and it's getting an IP address on this interface, F00, via DHCP. So the, this is a real situation, and the customer asked me, um, how do I get all the DHCP information? Because you can see... Uh, when you enable the port, it tells you that it was assigned an address. In this case, it was 101 is the host address, and it's a 24-bit mask. That's it. What about the um, DHCP server IP address? What about the default gateway IP address? What about uh, the client ID? You know, other things you might want to know. Uh, they went straight to the log, like most people will do. So show log. And depending on the level of logging, you may not see anything such as I don't see anything here. So that's hit and miss. You may or may not see something, right? Depending on your config. So from there, show IP route. And this is gonna come up and tell you the gateway of last resort is 200.3. And you can see the static route 000 is going to 200.3. So you can have a pretty good assumption that 200.3 is the default gateway. We're still not 100% sure, but it's probably that. They also went to show interface. And if you go to show interface, you can see the interface got an IP address of 200.101. So you go to a whole bunch of places. I'm not gonna go through them all. That's, you know, some of the more basic places you go check the stuff out. And I simply showed them this command, show DHCP lease, oops, lease. And you can see on one screen now, it's telling me the IP address, it's telling me the mask, it's telling me the DHCP lease server's IP. It even tells me things like the lease time, the renewal, and the rebind time, which is kind of cool. Of course, your default gateway. And then there's your client ID, right? So you've got it here in ASCII, and you've got it in HEX. And that's important because sometimes you want to um, set an IP aside or reserve an IP in it in the DHCP scope for that router. And sometimes you can use the client ID, sometimes you can use the MAC address, whatever. And, and that's pretty cool. The last thing that I glossed over, which I think is kind of cute, which is really cool, is this, DHCP transaction ID. And the reason why I think that's cool is for all the packet people in the audience, if I did have a trace of this device trying to get an IP address, I can filter on that DHCP transaction ID and see all the packets involved in getting the address and either the discovery, the offer, the request, the acknowledgement, negative acknowledgement, the inform pack, it's all that kind of jazz, right? And you can filter simply on the transaction ID. So there you go. Hope that helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.